what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about jeepers creepers 4 today again jeepers creepers reborn <laughs> as you see on your screen here we have another look at the creeper now this is the creeper and of course the creeper stunt double now the one on the right looks very much so like the one we saw in the video i would say previously where the man in the center there martin shelton i believe is his name He's one of the stunt coordinators working on Jeepers Creepers Reborn. That He looks very much like the same in individual we saw in that video where Martin Shelton was seen approaching him. And he was saying like, happy Christmas or something, handing him something in his hand. And it, you had the red lighting. I'm sure you guys know what video I'm talking about if you've seen it. He snatches something away from him. Then he walks away. It's on the New England Medical YouTube channel if you still want to go out and look at that. He looks like the stunt double. And now the one on the left looks more like Jaru Benjamin, who we know is the guy that supposedly is going to be reprising not reprising but replacing jonathan breck as the creeper this time around for this new rebirth of the monster so i've seen your feedback i've heard all the jokes and i've even saw a reference to power rangers but i do want to shout out uh cs unlimited for sending this my way and letting me know some other details about this image outside of just where it came from so like honestly i'm i'm still just on on the fence i'm on the fence this still isn't in the, the appropriate context for the movie such as you know the proper use of lighting keeping this thing shrouded in darkness how overexposed is this thing going to be i think what's throwing a lot of people off is just the the way it looks as far as like the chest area the facial differences and you know i can you can use the argument that yes it'll look different after 23 years and while this different look might not look good now to some of us again with the proper context and who knows what other effects they've added afterwards to kind of enhance the scare factor here and i'm not saying this thing couldn't scare someone i feel like what's really just striking to all of us who grew up with this film is how much so you can tell it's not jonathan breck the makeup is clearly altered and I'm not saying that the makeup wasn't altered for Jonathan Breck in the third movie, but there's just something clearly distinct about Jonathan that, you know, it's easy to pinpoint that this isn't him. It's also easy to find yourself feeling a little bit disappointed because of the fact of how consistent they've been with having him be a part of all three movies so far. So now to learn that he wasn't even apparently asked to participate in the fourth film, I heard he found out after being congratulated on it. And, you know, I've, if that's how he found out about this project, honestly, from being congratulated and then having to tell someone, I don't know what you're talking about because I'm not doing it. You know, that's kind of that's kind of just like earth shattering for me because I can only imagine it. I, I don't want to speak on his own emotions about this. Maybe he's indifferent to it, but I would imagine he would have loved to participate in this again. That he, he loves that character. That's what he's most known for. The makeup, honestly, of this of this thing doesn't look too I don't want to say it looks awful because, again, I haven't seen it in, in the appropriate context, but I'm just I'm just on the fence. And the fact that you again have so many people who are working on the film, leaking stuff, they are going out of their way to put stuff online that apparently they're not supposed to be putting online. I don't know how true any of that is about them not supposed to be putting it online, because, again, if they're not supposed to be putting it online, that should have been nipped in the bud when they were doing it, especially considering how many people I see working on the film were following these people. But, you know, as far as like my thoughts on it, I am indifferent. Also, I'm on the fence. I need to see it in the appropriate context. I need to see how they utilize this new person as the creeper, Jaru Benjamin. Again, I hope you knock it out of the park. Uh, I don't know what he'll bring to the table. I do remain hopeful that we'll get a brilliant recreation or performance from him in terms of just being menacing, terrifying and just bringing his own unique spin to the character and being charismatic because we know the creeper has always been a charismatic individual not just someone who looks scary but always something more mysterious to it as far as like how it had this charisma to it other than just i'm gonna come out here and i'm gonna kill you it we know it has a sense of humor a whole lot of other stuff that we've seen explored through over the course of this trilogy at this point so the other thing we need to talk about was the ep epsilon sigma iota sorority who seems to be having a giveaway for two people or for some people to win a a special or or win some uh, tickets to go see win two tickets to a spooky movie on october 28th or 29th 
Now, if you see here, it says Halloween kills and Jeepers Creepers are born. Now, this sorority, I believe, from what I've looked up, is associated with Howard University School of Law. The Epsilon Sigma Iota sorority is the first sorority dedicated to the advancement of African-American women in the legal profession. Uh, I fully support that. <laughs> but getting back to Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So Jeepers Creepers Reborn is one of the things that they are supposedly giving away. Now, how are they doing that? I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. But and what I mean, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know how they could have intel on this movie coming out 100 percent on this date unless of course they are going off of the other research that we've all seen online which says that the movie's coming out on october 28th that was the australia date remember november 2nd was our date for the states so when i see this i'm curious if they have somehow been contacted by the studio who's in agreement with this to help them with this giveaway or if there's just something that may be catching us all off guard this upcoming saturday because we still have that big announcement that's coming to find out what is going to happen in terms of that countdown on the 23rdday.com website again i'm speculating it's going to be the official poster some of you think it'll be the trailer with a cast list announcement all of the appropriate things that we should get some of us have even gone out of the way to say that well maybe they're going to give us all of that in the kitchen sink and announce tickets going on sale for a one night showing next week on october 28th somehow or another i guess the howard university school of law if they are in the know of this they have broken the news to us before we get this official announcement on saturday if that's even the case because again they could just be going off of what they have seen online but if they have if they have tickets ready to give away you know who knows what we might find out saturday is the movie actually going to be available for certain people to see on october 28th we'll have to wait and see i don't think so i think they're going off of what they saw online and that's just wishful thinking on their end i think what they're honestly going to do is most people will end up winning halloween kills <laughs> once they once they un end up realizing that they don't have a way to show them jeepers creepers are born because they're supposed to announce this tomorrow october 22nd at 5 p.m eastern but we'll see let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't heard of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video